Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow Fury 3, bringing you a match between God and Randy. The uh, last was between Norm and Pear, which was kind of interesting, showing a map we've never seen before. A lot of vehicle play, but it, they weren't God and they weren't Randy. And I'm sure a lot of you quite like to see God and Randy play. And now we get to see them play against each other on Lowland Crossing. And in case for anyone who's not particularly familiar with Zero K, God is pretty much the best player in the game, and Randy is pretty much one of the most promising up-and-coming players in the game, although admittedly he's actually an old Total Annihilation player who played StarCraft for a while and then has come back for Zero K. Which is flattering. Definitely. Not really sure to think about that, because honestly I don't know the man very well. But I have seen him play and he's definitely quite good, so let us begin! The low land crossing, we've seen it before, it's rather a small map, has a couple of Ismus in the center. Both players going for Cloaky, which is... Oh no, sorry. Ran, Gold is going for Shield, Randy's going for Cloaky. And Randy, not surprised with what he's doing, I, I personally love to go Cloaky on this map. As you can see, a lot of Reclaim as well, but it's a map that really supports the sort of mobility that Cloaky provides. While Shields obviously can do well, and actually can be very scary when you use the Ismus correctly, Cloaky's going to have a bit of an early advantage here just because of that mobility. Now that being said, God is focusing entirely on Reclaim, not at all surprising knowing him. He is focusing on Reclaiming as much as he can of the map. Randy, on the other hand, doing the same thing. Not really on the other hand, he is doing the exact same thing. Point out that both players are going pure E-Cell. I'm oh, no, sorry, God is going Beam Laser E-Cell, Randy's going pure E-Cell, which is not surprising. Very common thing in the last month and a half or so is just forget weapon. Go for E-Cell and you're level 1 morph because it's cheaper and you still get the energy you need and really... Build a couple defense turrets if you want to keep your stuff alive, or just good Raider Micro. Speaking of good Raider Micro, nicely done by God defending against that Glaive. I mean, immediately the Glaive did run into the Commander, but still, the Bandit, alive with 18 health. Another ra another Glaive coming in from Randy, and more Rectors from him as well. Three Rectors so far, building up, actually five Rectors will be coming up in total to get the Reclaim, while three Convicts are up, for four Convicts now for God, and one of the Convicts is getting attacked by... Glaive, but it needs to run away. God does have the beam laser, which this is kind of why beam lasers are very useful. Randy, on the other hand, does not have a weapon in play. He does have a bunch of rectors, and that's and a defender. That's about it. He really doesn't expect a whole lot to attack him early on, and that's not an unreasonable expectation. I mean, God likes going for this early reclaim, and Shieldbot is also not the type to raid quite so heavily as Cloaky is. Admittedly. It still raids a lot. Do not underestimate it. If you're playing against shield bots, expect bandit raids. They are going to happen. Just, they might not happen quite so often as glaive raids will. Because glaive raids are just, they just always happen. And Randy comes in with 100 glaives, and this is why I say he is an old TA player. I know he's an old TA player, because only old TA players do this. Build their units in batches of 100. Players who are a bit more used to 0k tend to infinite build rather than build in batches of massive numbers, like 100 to 200. But, beside the point, point is that Randy is now switching heavily on to military, getting tons of glaives, while God, on the other hand, is still kind of evenly splitting between glaives and convicts. Still trying to reclaim as much as he can, and actually has reclaimed a lot of his side of the map. Definitely has a stronger economy going in terms of reclaim, while Randy's going for are trying to go for a much more stronger, stable economy. And both players are actually fairly even at this point, though God has been pulling ahead when he can get the reclaim for it. And has also, this raid has been doing very nicely. Two Rectors, three Rectors down so far. And a Defender as well. The, admittedly, the Defender is not really meant to survive that long, but the Rectors, that's huge. Randy losing a lot of potential reclaim as a result of that. Needs to defend against these Glaives, and of course, it needs to make sure that He's getting some revenge on that as well. Make sure that God doesn't get all the economy as a result. Because God taking most... He's pretty much his quarter of the map has been completely reclaimed. Has been pushing a lot of this into building new bandits. Well, Randy doing the same thing. Making sure to make the most of his reclaim as well. Mostly went for metal reclaim. Not focusing on energy reclaim. Well, God has been focusing on both metal and energy reclaim. At this point, I would say that... I mean... Getting energy is never a bad idea. In fact, God is starting to float a bit on metal, despite having gone for both, because he just has more convicts reclaiming than Randy has rectors. Though Randy is making up for the rectors he lost, getting back those three rectors and rebuilding on top of it, they're going to reclaim these guys as well, most likely. Well, 
Okay, going for permanent economy first. Randy is definitely switching over to permanent economy as much as he can to his half of the map. While God looks like he is also switching to permanent economy. He's not really focused on reclaim anymore. Definitely wants to get to that permanent economy. Probably going to use reclaim to boost after he's gotten a bunch of mexes set up. But for now, getting his mexes up and getting a geothermal plant as well. Now, Randy has not gone for geothermal plants. He's not used those vents yet. He does have one queued up, though. One is forthcoming. And continuing to build up his glaives. So right now, there are currently 15 glaives, while God has 14 bandits. At this point, God has a bit of an advantage as a result of that. As you can see, he definitely has a military advantage. Like, 4,000 metal in spent in military compared to 3,000 metal. And that's not surprising. Glaives, not as effective for cost. It... However, given the position of units, it's really going to come down to where attacks happen. If Randy pushes in right here, it's a little bit risky, but if he spreads out at the right time, he should be able to get rid of a lot of these bandits. And it looks like his glaives are just moving in, and the bandits... I think God is preparing for an attack. I think both players are preparing for an attack. Randy has a lot of units lined up in a nice little scrimmage line. However, this line is too wide. I think for the way this map is set up, he's going to lose everything in the center before the edges come back to finish everything off in flank. I think Randy might want to move his units more into a staggered formation, like have two lines that are kind of staggered out so they don't run into each other. But we'll see. He's He might be planning on going for a bit of harassment along the sides. Break off four glaives or so, get rid of this, missile, this laser turret, missile turret, and keep going down from there. Would be a little bit risky though, especially given that he does have a military disadvantage. If he does that, Gold will probably just counterattack, and that would end the game right there, or at least heavily cripple Randy. For Randy is switching to Airplane Factory. Gold, on the other hand, is switching to a nuclear silo. I, have we ever seen it? I don't remember if I've casted a game with attack nuke silo being built, but that, there it is. Missile silo coming right up. So Gold going for that while Randy goes for an airplane plant. Continuing to build up glaives. Getting some hammers as well, just to try to deal with this little river here. And first hammer shot goes off. God, is he going to respond to that? Does God actually see that? Let's double check his point of view. God looks like he's mostly focused on Randy's base, but he's... Well, he's got nukes. That's what he was focusing on, was sending a nuke straight into Randy's base. Just a tactical nuke, but still, it'll, it'll hurt. Oh, no, sorry. That was a napalm missile, but yes, still will hurt a lot. Another one goes out. He's just building all the napalm missiles. Burning up Randy's base and burning up Randy's front line as well. I mean, Randy's lost all of his energy in his main base. His Cloakabout factory is not taking a whole lot of damage, but all of his energy structures have been. His metal extractors are mostly destroyed or heavily damaged. At the same time, shadows are coming in to deal with this. Still, the well they can deal with this, but it's going to be tough. And another Napalm missile coming in to the east side of the front lines to get rid of those units and... That they shall do. Randy losing a lot of his front line, getting broken wide open. Oh yeah, the back as well, getting heavily damaged. So, God just being cruel. Napalm missiles around the map. I'm not sure if he's going to send in a nuke just to finish this all off. Afterwards, just going to focus entirely on napalm missiles. Looks like it is going to be the former, focusing entirely on napalm missiles and sending in. There was the bandits to come in to break the lines. But well, the lines have been broken, but to take advantage of the broken lines. Shadows look like they might be trying to set up what they can, and a Roach to try to help break the lines as well, but Shadows might be trying to get rid of... I'm sure we're going to try to get rid of... Really, the focus will be getting rid of this missile silo, but Randy has not done that yet. In fact, I'm a bit surprised. What what are these Shadows planning on doing? Like, are they planning on getting rid of the missile silo, or what? They certainly not attacked anything else. He's not attacked the metal extractors. He's not attacked any other units coming in, and this missile silo is causing nothing but pain to Randy, and into the airplane factory it goes... Getting rid of everything being built up from there. The factory itself is okay, but everything around it is not. Another wind generator going down. Randy, however, does have two geothermal plants. He has nothing to worry about for energy. Really not a big deal, but still. And there we go. There is the shadow attack. That's what I was expecting. And five shadow bombs come in. Don't quite destroy the missile silo. 200 health left, and all of these convicts... Gotta be a dozen convicts here. Yeah, a dozen convicts repairing that silo right up. And... Any bombers that go down to heal up are going to get heavily damaged. I think they're going to be stuck at this point. And Randy throws in the towel. That is game. God wins the game with a, ta a missile silo with nuke <laughs> napalm missiles. Not nuclear missiles. No nukes for him. Just napalms 
across the map, burning Randy out, and winning the game that way. I don't think I've ever seen a game go that way, so that's that's certainly new. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll have another game for you in just a couple minutes with Cube and Lowry playing. And it should be a longer one than the last couple. So stay tuned.